Need help with your kids when it comes to social graces? Etiquette expert Elise McVeigh offers her Etiquette 101 rules that are easy to execute using simple tools and activities that introduce common courtesies in a fun and relevant way. Good morning, Elise. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. I think this is one of those topics that is just so important, common courtesy and manners. Yes, it is. Um, I'm a manners expert for children, and I've put thousands of kids through my classes, and I also have three children of my own. And it just, people are complaining that kids and adults even just don't have the manners that they used to. So where do we start? What are some of the things that we can do at a young age? Well, the most important thing you need to do is make it fun and engaging. So, for example, a lot of little girls are into the princess phase. Um, a lot of little boys love sports heroes. So let's say your daughter loves to play princess. You need to find tools that she can relate to. Um, something that I've discovered is Barbie has a new DVD out called Barbie Princess Charm School. And you know, the message is that there's a princess in every girl. It talks about poise and confidence. Um, you know, setting a table, of course, is really important. Having good table manners, sitting down as a family. Um, one thing that I do to help my kids and the campers that go through my classes is I have a placemat that they can use where it has all the utensils, where everything goes, um, where the plate goes, and that way they know how to do it and they'll memorize it very quickly. Also, a manners checklist or a behavioral checklist is really good. They love to put stickers on it. Um, some kids like to check it off. It just makes it interactive and fun for them. Absolutely, and it seems like that sort of introduces role play, and that's where you can really get kids excited and involved. Yes, kids love to role play. So, for example, if you were going to say, all right, well, we're going over to someone's house and let's meet Mr. So-and-so, um, you know, I would say, Let's practice. Hi, I'm Elise McVeigh. Nice to meet you. And you know, if your daughter's dressed up as a princess, she could say, Hi, I'm Princess Catherine. It's nice to meet you too. And I'd say, Okay, you've had a very good firm handshake, but not too hard. You have a very clear and confident voice, and you're making really good eye contact. And those are all very important things. And it seems like good manners are something that will carry you through a lifetime. Absolutely. Um, you know, in a job interview, anything that you do, you need to have good manners. People respect you when you have better manners. Just explain to your children they'll be more successful if they can speak with a very respectful tone, um, just be nice to other people. You know, just once again, that princess lesson of poise and confidence, that really shines through and they'll have more success in life. Absolutely, and that's one of the things. I have a seven-year-old boy, and we're really working on communicating with adults and starting conversations. Yes, and do you know what? Once again, role play that. Um, also, if you go to my website, Mrs. McVeigh's Manners, and actually Barbie.com, there are a lot of tips and tools and talks about different things that you can do. But your kids will be engaged if you can find something that they think is fun. So just keep on role playing with them, and he'll and he'll get it. One day he'll. He'll just you know, put out his hand and shake the other person's hand without you even prompting them. Ah, I'm looking forward to that. Some great information, Elise McVeigh. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. And we are back with more of Daytime.